Gnomish city of Nomerigan was evacuated and abandoned by the Gnomes during the Third War. It was being invaded by Trogs, who on the advice of Sicko Thermoplug, Titan Kamekator radiated the city to kill them. Instead, radiation killed the majority of the Gnomes, despite being told they would be safe. Apart from being irradiated, the Trogs were still alive. During Cataclysm, Mechatork organized Operation Nomerigan to retake his city after years of sheltering with their dwarven cousins. Sycothermaplug is running the city now, as was his plan all along. The city was partially retaken, but full control was thwarted by Sicko detonating a radioactive bomb. The focus is now on rescuing and healing the irradiated gnomes at their new home, New Tinkertown, just outside the gates of Nomerigan. We wake up as an irradiated gnome in the old dormitory of Nomerigan and are greeted by Nevin Twistwrench, commander of SAFE, Survivor Assistance Facilitation Expedition. Surprised we've survived, he asks for our aid in killing crazed left gnomes who are now beyond our help. We're then off to report to Carvo Blastbolt in the train depot and help him to teleport survivors to the surface. Gaffer Coil Spring in the loading bay instructs us to board the Sanitron 500 for decontamination and then report to Technician Braggle for new gear. Before we leave Nomerigan, we can also meet Environia Bert, the pet battle tamer, and Micro Zooks at the entrance to the instant, offering top-level pet dungeon quests. Torben Zaplas teleports us to the surface, and again we meet Nevin in New Tinkertown, who introduces us to our class trainers. They are Drill Sergeant Steamcrank, the warrior trainer, Kelsey Steelspark, the rogue trainer, Alamar Grimm, the Warlock Trainer, Bipsy Frostflinger, the Mage Trainer, likely kin of Bitty Frostflinger in Dalaran, Doc Cogspin, the Priest Trainer, possible kin of Alwis, a tinker in the Rolling Thunder Company during the Second War, Z, friend to the small, the Pandaren Monk Trainer, added in Mist, and Muffinus Chromebrew, the Hunter Trainer, added in Legion, with his mechanical squirrel pet, Sculpin. We will also meet Mina Gleesbanner, who begins the Great American Run event, Ballo Shinesteel, Ellie Sharpedge, Carson Crazybread, and Mana Swiftneedle. Our trainer sends us to meet the high tinker, Gelvin Mechator, who tells us about Operation American by watching the hollow table and then reporting to Engineer Grindspark to aid in the fight. We find spare parts and use the GS9X Multibot to clean up toxic geezers at the airfield. Top Sprite Sprocket asks us to recover possessions from toxic sludges, and for Corporal Fizz Whistle, we destroy living contaminations. Captain Tread Spark Nozzle needs us to locate Jessup McCree, who's disappeared in the Frostmane Hole, former home to the Frostmane Trolls until earthquakes allowed the trogs to overwhelm them. We rescue Jessa and then recover other captured demolitionists and recover stolen powder kegs. We then kill Boss Brugger inside the cave and detonate the explosives to collapse the tunnel. We bring our report to the High Tinker, who tells us that a new enemy has arrived, Raslo Crushcog, sent by Thermoplug. We need to kill his minions and destroy Meccano tanks with grenades. Kelsey sends us to her assistant, Jarvi Shadowstep, at Brunor Village. He gives us the Paintinator to blind the sentry box. With the aid of the dwarves, led by Mountaineer Stonegrind, and the other gnomes led by Mechator, we battle Crush Cog on the ice flow lake and defeat him. Mechatark missiles! Mechatark missiles! Mechatark ray!
Crush Cog defeated, Thermoplug is sure to be quaking in his mechano tank, and rightly so. You're next, Thermoplug. You're next. While at Brunel Village, we can meet the fishing trainer Paxton Ganter and his wife Bretta, Burdrak Hagelhelm, Tristan Shadowstone, and Keeg Gibbon are also there. There's also Grana Strongbrew with a relative Drovna Strongbrew at Refugee Point in Arafi Highlands, and Rana Bubblefizz with her family Tickle at Admiral Taylor's garrison at the Spires of Iraq. Finally, Jarvi sends us to Captain Tharon in Karanos, and Kiara Deepstone has a delivery for Innkeeper Bell. As well as Hyten Kamekator, there are other gnomes, dwarves, and their families that we'll meet throughout our journey. Kelsey Steelspark is a member of Nomerican Covert Ops. She is found in Tanaros trying to arrange a trade agreement, defends Gadgetstan during a Legion invasion, and is the quartermaster in the Rogue Order Hall as a member of the Uncrowned. During Battle for Azeroth, she has a major part to play in sabotaging the goblin mining of Azerite in Silithus and operations in Kulturas and Zaldasar against the Horde. Carvo Blastbolt is possibly related to Briz, who defends Karanos during Legion invasions. Tox Sprysprocket seems to have a rather large family, Razzle in Karanos, Krazzle at Split Hoof Heights in Thousand Needles, Warleye, a famous alchemist of the past, Lizzle, whose location is unknown, and Gimbal, who's an unfortunate victim of Nomerigan's radiation and is now a leper gnome. Kiara Deepstone is possibly related to Hugh, a member of the Explorers League, who disappeared studying the Naga, with whom he had a deep fascination. We're now free to continue our journey through Dunmoreau and meet up with our dwarven cousins who started in Coldridge Valley, the former starting area for the gnomes, prior to Operation American. This one shows promise. The whispers lure her toward her fate.